Hey, you guys, welcome back to Crazy Quilt and Crafts with SCK. All right, you guys, I told y'all I'd be blocking. All right, you guys, another project completed, which is my zigzag table runner. All right, family, so y'all already saw the pixelated um, heart, and I explained to you guys that that was done with layer cakes. I split my layer cakes into four quarters. I was left with two um, stacks of charm packs, and this is what I did with the leftover charm packs. Now, the zigzag um, table runner is super fun to make, very easy to make as well. It's all about um, how you place your your fabrics, and um, I believe that I was supposed to point that out in the video of the um, pixelated heart uh, with the B fabric. So... This is, again, very easy, very fun to do. I also did pillows, as always, and my pillows are the disappearing four patch. So I had to use um, four charms on, I believe it was on each one of these. My backing fabric, I chose to do something different on this one, you guys, the table runner, which is really cute with the bees. And I am undecided you guys drop me a line let me know what you guys think about this ensemble should i split this up and gift it split it up or should i keep it as a whole because the backing on this fabric is again that yellow fabric that i showed you guys before so this will be the dilemma of me gifting this out because I have two different backings. Now, somebody may say, well, shoot, both backings is nice. They're going to appreciate if I decided to give this whole thing away. They're going to appreciate both backings because of the, of the effort of the love and the work that went into creating this. So, you guys, drop me a line. Let me know what you're thinking. So, um, I am definitely finished with this. I believe this was Timeless Treasure Bees. If it was metallics, I believe that's what it was. So I am definitely finished with this stack of layer case. If I have any scraps, huh? I think I do have just a few more scraps, you guys. Just a few more. And um, if I do, I'll probably turn them into something small. But right now, this is the leftover of my layer cakes. So again, this is two, this will be consisted of two charm packs. Now, when it comes to the zigzag runner, you can run this however long you want. That's the beauty of the zigzag runner. Um, you can, if you have like a table that seat 10 or eight, you can run this all the way from one end of your table to the next end. So this doesn't have like a limit on how far you can go. You can go as, as far as you want to go. The only thing is you will probably have to need uh, more uh, charm packs in order to do that. But again, you could go as far back as you want to go. I mean, as, as, as long. So let's see. The backing on this is not from the timeless collection here that has the metallic. This is, this is actually goes to another B collection that I have in my stash, which I tend to buy lots of B fabric. So this um, doesn't exactly go with this um, line of fabric, but the colors are still the same and pretty much the theme is Bs, right? So also remember I was telling you guys about directional fabrics. Try to get in the habit of having your directional fabrics going pretty much in the same direction. Make sure you are placing them to where you can actually see them and not them being in an awkward position to where they like upside down or somewhat backwards. Be mindful of that. Let's see what else could I share with you guys. Again, do not fret if you do not have the matching backing. Please do not drive yourself crazy if you don't have the matching backing. Find something in your stash. Go to Walmart. Scan them out. And that's another place, you guys. I tend to buy a lot of fabric at Walmart, too. Not just Hobby Lobby. Because um, Walmart has a great variety of fabrics. They also have a section 
of um, fat quarters and where you can buy like yardage, like two and three yards of fabric. But don't forget about Walmart. Get over there at Walmart. Um, I have bought lots of fabric from Walmart. So again, don't forget about Walmart. Do not fret if you don't have the exact backing that goes with the line or the designer of whatever line you are using. Don't fret about that. Also, when you make your cuts, if you tend to be a little off with your measurements, do not fret about being a little bit off with your measurements. I tend to see my mistakes. Most people don't see your mistakes. They just see the beauty and the love that you put into your work. Like right here, I can see my mistake right here. Right in that center part where my blocks are meeting, one block is bigger than the other, probably by a quarter of an inch. <laughs> Now, I see it. Most people is not going to see that. Only ones that's going to really see it is the quilting addicts. <laughs> but I can see it. I definitely can see it from way back here. Now, this one here is definitely on point. Same size block in the middle compared to that one right there. So you can see that this one is smaller and that one is bigger. Over here, you can see that that one is a little bit off, but not as much. It's more rect like this one is more rectangle than squared like that one. But like I said, most people wouldn't even notice that. We as quilters, we always know our mistakes. And again, do not fret about mistakes. Let's see. I may have some mistakes in my quilting that I could point out when you pivot. Sometimes you may not pivot the way you should pivot to where you could get that sharp turn. And that will happen. You will get better over time. Like this one is a very nice sharp pivot right here. This one is a very sharp pivot right here. Let's see down here. This one is a good pivot. That one is a good pivot as well. So you you will definitely learn all these tricks of the trades as you um, continue to sew more. You'll learn a whole lot of tricks. And um, you'll learn not to really fret about whatever mistakes you may have. So I hope you guys enjoy this um, show and tell. Another fun project. Very beautiful. Again, check on the internet. Just Google... Um, uh, B fabrics, metallics, and you should be able to come up with this, this timeless, what is it? Timeless treasure B collection. It's out there. And you, like I said before, you will even see even more collections. So I hope you guys enjoyed this show and tell. Thank you so much for tuning in. SEK, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.